Hello guys, I'm back with another part of my let's play and unfortunately I've got some bad news. As you can probably immediately spot, the situation is not where I left it in my previous part. That is because I've lost one of the saves, a part of the game, uh, to be precise, 25 turns of the game. It's a really stupid story how I did it, uh, mainly I had to save in the previous location because I was running out of disk space. Then later I decided to record a couple of Diablo 3 games, which I've already uploaded, and while recording the Diablo 3 games, I've turned off the external mm, in, uh, output of voice. Uh, of voice recording so that uh, my games aren't interrupted by the uh, noises of um, my fan for example. Then later when I got back to recording of this uh, Netherlands game I forgot to turn the audio recording on. The minute I've noticed that I've saved the game and I've decided I'm gonna record it one more time with commentary because it was only 25 turns. So I turned off the civilization, deleted the uh, recorded files and then I said oh shit, I just overwritten the save and I don't have the files without commentary neither. So basically I'm screwed. However, I can tell you what happened in the 25 turns. Well, basically, Rotterdam got conquered a couple of times. Uh, I've uh, I've took the strategy, or strategy, I call it strategy, abandon the ship. Uh, the Bodica had a huge navy around here, I wasn't able to defend Rotterdam, so I placed my artilleries all around it and decided I'm gonna give the city away and get it back every turn with my lancers. Bodica was ending each turn with the conquering of the city with her naval unit and I was getting it back at the same time destroying the naval unit which was stationed in the city and moving my lancer back from the city to allow it to conquer it again next turn. Uh, and that way she lost all of her navy. Uh, on the same time I lost Valletta to Babylon uh, because I wasn't able to defend the city. Its location is really not that good to, for defensive purposes. However, Babylon did not liberate the city. So the object is completed. There's one city less in um, voting for the UN vote. Because that's the that's the victory type that's, uh, that the AI goes most on deity and it usually gets it. Gets it. You've seen my last uh, gameplay. I need to uh, mm, destroy one more city-state so that uh, if someone builds, for example, Bodica, because she's allied with all the city-states, if she builds the UN, she will only get two votes for the city-states and eventual vote from Babylon. Because we all know how the AI loves to vote in the craziest way possible. Therefore, I'm planning to attack probably Budapest because it's the closest. Uh, on the same time, I've conquered Eket. Once I've got rid of all the navy, I had a couple of submarines already. I con uh, was able to attack the Eket with artillery from the location of my main island, and then I conquered it with uh, an amphibious attack of a lancer. So that's basically what happened. After I conquered it, Babylon uh, decided to sign a peace treaty and offered me all of their gold. Uh, so that's a fair trade. Uh, in the meantime, Bodica has uh, started working on uh, Apollo program where well, she's completed and she's also completed two boosters. I'm not really sure if she got the third one. She also got the Space Hubble telescope and uh, cockpit. I think it was... Yeah, how can I check that? Yeah, she's got the cockpit and two boosters. However, I still am. Uh, I still think that diplomatic victory is the one 
Mm, that's uh, the most threat, so I'm gonna try to prevent this one as well. I've got one frigate, one submarine, other one will be ready in one turn, and yes, I think we can move on. I'm gonna only gonna check single player auto end. Okay, that's fine. Uh, I'm researching on I'm on the researching path for electronics for the battleship and once I get the battleship uh, things will go are going to roll out relatively fast I think oh killed my artillery there's one submarine I need to get rid of that yeah that's it Here's another submarine that I just produced. But first I'm gonna attack with the frigate. Oh, there's one more. Oh fudge, you're not able to attack it. Hmm. Should have attacked with this one. I haven't noticed this submarine. Okay, you just go and hide. In such case. Yeah, I'm gonna be working on submarines only for now. Uh, that that could be easy for seeing that the frigate would get destroyed. Oh, but 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 she left the yeah. You can see the carrier with three ships unguarded. That's just perfect. There goes the submarine. Now I'm gonna also destroy cavalry. And this machine gun as well. Well, cover will ruin not necessarily because it's got some health left, but that's not the problem. But. Oh, oh, oh. Keep your fingers crossed. Yeah, there it goes with three um, uh, airship units. So that's a huge win. There's my world infantry. I'm gonna fortify it on the citadel. Yeah, I also built a citadel here on this location to steal uh, marble and gold from Babylon because the the uh, border was like that. <laughs> I've already got one, two, three, four citadels, and was able to build one polder on a marsh that Nobunaga left. Okay, here goes the infantry. There goes the machine gun, and yeah, you, you need to unload. Uh, let's check the spies. Edinburgh, Babylon, Almaty. No, I don't want to Almaty. I want the Budapest to provide me vision in Budapest. You can heal. Oh, there's the battleship. How lovely. Although I might not be able to kill it. Oh, so close. Might not be able to kill it with only two submarines. But if she's got no... Mm, oh, there's the fruit booster. If she's got no units that can spot my submarines, then this battleship is as good as lost. Yeah, she didn't even attack. Okay. Gathering experience for my submarines. Can I speed up my research a little? Yes, I can. Don't really need the production that much. The Great War Infantry is attacked by bombers, but uh, the infantry is on Citadel fortified and additionally it heals itself, so it only deals damage to the bombers, so that's the plan to hopefully get rid of the bombers against 
which I basically don't have any other defense at the moment. But once I get uh, to the battleships, once I get some serious navy, then uh, it will soon be over. There's another submarine. And the artilleries are only also getting the experience. If I could get the additional range, I could also shoot the other artillery. And there goes the mobile sam. I can scout a little. But not too much, as I don't want to lose the submarines to, for example, enemy submarines. Because if you get too close and for and Bodica has the submarine somewhere around, then you will be in the range of her cities, her other uh, naval units, uh, her artilleries, and it all goes uh, into crapper, as you might say. Fine. You're good. Oh, a privateer! And I can steal a technology, and guess what technology it will be. Hello there, Bodica, thank you for my battleships! Yay! Okay, in such situation I'm gonna switch, and now I can actually invest in production a little more than in science. Not want my city to starve though. So this one submarine will go hunting for any other units. Battleship. Battleship will get the bombardment promotion as it's gonna be used to destroy enemy units, not only cities. Now, what can I do now? I could go for either combustion and destroyers or plastics and research lab. However, I'm planning to do a massive naval warfare and therefore I'm gonna go for combustion. Because uh, it will take a while to research both the technologies. Oh, she's already got great firewall. Which means my spy will no longer be able to steal from her. However, mm, I will leave it in Edinburgh to provide me vision over the city. What are you doing? You think you can actually do something at this point? No, 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 no. That's the huge motherfuckingly kick ass Gatling gun. And it's gonna kick your ass. Okay, this submarine will stay. This one is only for basically defensive purposes. This submarine to scout if there are any enemy submarines that could destroy my battleship. Oh, Almaty brought an archer. That's just lovely. What's that? Is that Babylonia or Celtic? That's Celtic artillery. Awesome. Wonder if uh, Budapest's got vision over my battleships. They don't have a border, so they might not even have the vision for this location. And I'm gonna use the university I just built to speed up the research. Okay, you can go alert. You can stay on alert even if I have to click on it every turn. I don't mind. Okay, got rid of... I'm just gonna click on do nothing. And it looks like they don't have vision because they didn't attack my battleship with the artillery. Oh, it's like the cavalry. Down it goes. Uh, okay, Babylon. Can we trade something? You've got relatively a lot of gold. 
Uh, I'm not really into your resources. I've got, I've got plenty of my own. How about this? How about if I give you coal? Hmm, coal, iron. What's my happiness for? If I sell you all my resources, it will be down to two. Hmm. How about 300? Okay. You might say that's not really a good deal. However, I've got nothing to do with the resources anyway. And she's bombarding the infantry the whole time. Fine. You can go to sleep. I'm also gonna be needing uh, a unit that can attack Budapest once uh, its defenses are down to zero, but uh, that's not really gonna be a problem since I can send, for example, one of the last Lancers and make an Aphimbius attack. Besides, I did it with Eket. Now, end turn. Here you go, so that you can grow a little at least, and... Now, you can go to additional fish. What's the situation? Hmm. I think you're gonna need lighthouse first. One battle ship is of course not enough to conquer that city. But I'm getting more. So don't worry about that. Now additional bombardment promotion and uh, next you, you can get uh, you can get the additional range promotion which is extremely important. Then later also logistics although I think you need to have uh, the bombardment on the third level to get logistics. Now, is there any other spot I could attack without being seen? Mm, maybe from here. But as you can see, Budapest has moved its artillery to somewhere I don't know where. Maybe it's swimming around somewhere. No, it's guarding the oil. So I don't really need to worry about that. Ooh, enemy! Enemy, enemy, enemy! Shoot it down! That's right. Another promotion! You're in rough terrain, so you're gonna get the drill promotion now. The infantry has already got double medic promotion if you can spot it. Oh! A powerful enemy! What's that unit called? Missile cruiser. Okay, let's get this submarine to help out, because that's relatively dangerous. And I got an Admiral. Perfect. Go for it, Admiral. Now, I can either go for Rationalism or for Planet Economy. I've already adopted all order. You probably missed that. I'm not really sure. I don't remember when exactly I've uh, adopted it. But rationalism will be better because then I can go for um, secularism. Now what's, where's the missile cruiser going? That's, uh, that's what I thought. Down goes one of the submarines. Okay, not much I could do about it, but Mr. Cluzer goes down as well, and so does the 
So does the machine gun. Okay. Artillery attacks. Another artillery attacks. And yeah. I actually might consider sending the unit already because it will be I think two turns before it goes there and Budapest is already almost good to die. I forgot to but buy the battleship. Okay, can do it this turn then. Okay, there it goes. Down goes the archer, down goes the artillery. Okay, this one will get additional vision, this submarine, because vision is really important for submarines. Yeah, you can stay. How far can you go? That's fine. Let's see if I can conquer Budapest next turn. It has to have zero health, so it does. Costly attack nevertheless. What do we've got here? Two oil resources and a lot of scientific buildings. So that's... well, I do need to keep the city. I can only choose between a puppet and... Uh, a puppet and annexing. And I'm not gonna annex it. So Bodeka, no, what, which, what is this? Bodeka, you can kiss the diplomatic victory as goodbye. I'm a fairly uncivilized brute. Fuck you. That's my answer to that accusation. You're just gonna heal and you. First gonna scout with the submarine. Oh, that's not he, not hers. No. Next turn. Oh, enemy has been spotted near Rotterdam. What kind of enemy? Ah, destroyer. Okay, I've got one spy free, so this one will go to Nant, also to provide me vision. Although I can live with it without it, because I can move my submarine, for example, only. Then move my battleship in the range. Battleship shoots. Other battleship shoots. This one can go like that. Yep. And then move the submarine out of range. I guess the battleships will provide vision anyway. And please notice how I leave my battleships, if possible, of course, one tile out of uh, the borders. This means sh if she had an artillery here and uh, no other, u no unit that provides vision, like uh, a fighter or uh, something that can swim she wouldn't be able to shoot with the artillery but it's not looking like she's got one anyways fine now give me one ironclad so that i actually have a naval unit that can attack cities and you what can you do rotterdam got conquered as i previously told you a couple of times so it lost all of its buildings and is really useless at this point but you can lose a battle if you then win a war. Remember that. Okay, this one is got destroyed. Can you move like that? Like my dragon. Hmm, this one will be good and ready as well before I can get the ironclad. And now that got the artillery.
it won't help you much if you don't have vision. Although she might have it, I'm, I'm not sure. She might have, for example. Okay, let's leave you here. You've got f five movement. One, two, three, four, five. So that's close enough. She might have vision. She might have a carrier with a, a, mm, uh, or a fighter somewhere hidden around here. Yeah, she's only using the bombers to bombard my uh, my infantry, which is relatively safe on this location. And what you what you gonna do? What you gonna do about that? What you gonna do about my battleships? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. Okay, let's view the city, public school, and the library. Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna keep it as well. Oh, my Lancer is healed, so let's get you back to home territory now. Time to hunt down some other Bodica units. Got anything around here? Nope. What can you shoot? Nah, you cannot shoot anything. Not anymore. Ooh, a great engineer! Hmm. Okay, let's scout. Fine, let's hide you under. And this one got the additional range promotion. Now, now I need to get rid of the nasty Celtic artilleries that can do me some damage. I'm not really worried, worried about the melee units. Whoa, that was fast. That was just as fast. Oh, that not this one not more not anymore but yeah you can just heal yeah, you don't have targets for shooting okay Amsterdam is not building anything don't really have anything to build I mean a wonder so you're gonna go with the factory and I can probably build a Manufacturer is somewhere. This trading post location looks fine for that. The additional production will all is always appreciated and go coastal rider. Looks like a almost like a ghost rider. Ah, a submarine. Enemy, enemy. Destroy, destroy. Eh, didn't get destroyed. Never mind. Well, let's get you in the range of one turn to Edinburgh. Oh, so she was working on Sydney Opera House. Her whole empire is under siege and she's building a wonder. Isn't that just wise? Okay, this one will be probably be able to... Oh, I don't see anything. You just sleep here, you can... Remain on this location. You just sleep here, and this one has additional range, so this will be this unit will be able to shoot from over here. Destroy the worker. Actually, <laughs> okay. Continue. Now, Bodica. What you gonna say about that? Is 
If I could suggest something, I would suggest you should put on your brown pants. You get the joke. Ooh, that's a lot of units. Hmm. Okay, I think this helicopter is the most dangerous one. What do you've got? A workshop. Let's check if she's she can destroy all of my unit with the one shot. Doesn't look like that. I was afraid she might attack all of my battleships at once and then then I could be in trouble. Can you get that major defeat? So I would call that a no. No, 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 I need to move the artilleries. Okay. You're gonna be the target. Hopefully, not my battleships. Because otherwise I will have to retreat and... Yeah, and there goes the battleship. I know that I left it in the uh, shooting range of machine gun. And also there's rocket tree. But there was no other place to leave it. However, what's that? What's that? 66 damage. That's not enough. Where can you go? Hmm. Not really far. Okay, I'm guessing I need to get rid of some of the units. Babylon. Can I sell you anything else? Hmm. 100 gold for oil. Not really interested in that. No, not oil. But I could give you coal. Fine. What's my happiness status? I could sell you some of the resources and use my ability to get some of the happiness back. Only at minus 5, but that's still not enough. I want to buy a battleship, is what I'm doing. I guess I could sell you one oil. How much for that? 22. Or two. I need fifty. Fifty three. Twelve. Okay, let's get the battleship and let's produce a battleship. You're just gonna stay here and yeah, you get the promotion. Not really sure if I can conquer the city at this moment. Ah, they went for the Lancer, perfect. And they also attacked the artillery, which is not the worst that could happen. Down goes the carrier. Perfect. Now I'm going to concentrate on this rocket artillery, which is the most dangerous. Oh, there's something standing here and I don't see it. Down goes the 